were there as many concussions now as there were then? Obviously, you didn't deal with them. There wasn't called that. Like it was called bell rung or whatever it was. Get in there. They say you're a wuss if you don't get back in there, right? Well, and all the teams wouldn't tell you if you had a concussion. That's what I mean. So I mean, no, in in terms of they would write down concussion and not tell you. Yeah, yeah. So before, like sometimes they would. My or, generation would not. They would say you're okay. Your bell's wrong. Go out there and not report it. Right. But there's other times later in my career, teams will write down you have a concussion, but not tell you as a player. Mm -hmm. So you'd go back out there because I have a, <laughs> I have a friend. I'm not going to name the team. So a friend of mine went through the concussion protocol, went to the team he used to play for, and said, you know, he knew he had three concussions or two concussions. He looked at his medical report. He had six concussions. Mm. They didn't tell him about four of them. Wow. Then I went to that same team and said, I need my medical records just to kind of see what's going on. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, you know, Mike, there's a major flood in this area. All the medical reports are gone. 